Hello everybody, thanks so much for joining me for another video. Today is a very special video because we are having a little YouTube hop to celebrate Rebecca Moore's 1,500 subscribers. So, great if you are a subscriber. If not, check out down below and I will link her channel. And there I will also link everybody else playing along. There are loads and loads of scrappers playing along. Because let's face it, Rebecca Moore is awesome. Her pages have inspired me for a long, long time now. And I just love her style. It's more is more, but more is less. It's it's just in a league of its own. It's amazing. I love it. She is also a big mixed media girl. And I love that as well, because obviously I don't do much mixed media. So... She said basically anything goes if we, a lot of the time in these hops, this is my first birthday slash celebration hop, so I'm really excited. Um, and traditionally it's a scrap lift, you scrap lift whoever you are celebrating. But she was, Rebecca was really easy, if that's what we wanted to do, great, if not just create and celebrate with her. Because today is also her actual birthday, so happy birthday Rebecca, have an amazing day. So I decided to scrap lift Rebecca and I hunted and hunted through her Instagram, had a bit of a stalk of it and saved about 10 that I wanted to do. In the end I have narrowed it down to this one. This is for Hip Kit Club, so a fairly recent one. She joined that design team a month or two ago and it's a white background and in the middle she's got a circular element. I think this is the paper with the scalloped border, I'm not sure, I do get a hip kit as well. And lots of florals here and here with a photo and title sort of in the circle there. There doesn't look to be, no, no mixed media. It's just quite a clean, simple layout and I really, really love it. But I wanted to obviously put my own spin on the layout. So what I've done is, in celebration of Rebecca Moore, I have used my hip kit because she is on the hip kit design team. I have also added a bit of mixed media, basic, but mixed media nonetheless, in the form of splatters on the background. And then I have stuck to the layout of hers that I am scrap lifting. So I've got a circular element in the middle. My photo is going to go here. I'm going to put lots of florals from the hip kit club. And my title is going to go here. I am using my October hip kit, which I just got yesterday. And I'm really excited to be digging into them already. I've not cut my branding strip off yet. So I've already done the splatters to allow them to dry. I just drew a very wonky line just to make sure I knew where I was putting the circle. I am using this paper, which is the exclusive sweater weather collection. Give me some pie. But I'm using the plaid side of it. And then I'm using this, which I've cut into a circle and distressed, because Rebecca does love to distress her edges. So another nod to Rebecca. And as you can see, the splatters have dried. Some of them are shimmery. There we go. So I used the ones that came in this month's October's hip kit. So I used the Mica Mist in Pecan Peach. And the sparkle spray in lavender lining, and it really does. The lavender one there gives a proper sparkle. Gorgeous. Then I did bring in a couple of others from my stash. I've got another mica mist in antique gold, and a couple of Heidi colour shines in gold and mustard. So I just went crazy with the splatters all around. I'm going to stick this here. I have got all of my embellishments from this month's hip kit and oh boy there is so much to choose from. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love it so much. And I'm going to use a lot of these floral die cuts which are just stunning as well. That's my plan. I am going to get dug into the die cuts, see what fits, choose a photo look at what we've got for titles oh i'm throwing everything around both of the alphas this month are quite dark so i may well see if i can use something like this if that's the case then i may change the way the title goes we shall see and yeah once i have got the basics down i will come back and we will embellish this layout 
the celebration of Rebecca Moore. Don't forget to check out down below for all the links after you finish watching my video. <laughs> Thank you, I shall be back shortly. So I have ended up matting my layout. I, it just looked a bit bare, it's what I usually do, so I have done it. I have folded up, well not folded, but I've roughed up these edges even more just so it's a bit more dimensional on the circle and obviously it is distressed. I'm using two photos, two 3x4 photos, so it is a bit different to Rebecca's, just to make it my own. And I have pulled out three Bramble Fox pieces because Rebecca's on that design team as well, a lucky girl, I love that place. Um, so I thought I'll use some of those as well. I have got, you can't see if, you, see if I can bring them in there. I have got, sorry I just turned another light on there. I have got all the floral die cuts out here. And these ones are from the main ephemera pack. So I'm just going through them. I'm going to layer some sort of here. And then a few around here. And I will be back to see about a title and any other embellishment. So I have made really good progress on this actually. Let's move this down a bit. Um, I have used at least half of the pack of the floral die cuts and I've put loads up here. It's busier than Rebecca's but I am more is more and I have also added some of the clear stickers. I love how that is looking. I have added the two photos back them with different colours of pocket cards and just need to add a bit of adhesive there. There we go. And I have stuck some things up with these tabby foam dots from Spiegel on Scraps, which I am on the design team with Rebecca. We're on two design teams together actually. Um Spiegel on Scraps and Paper Mates in the UK. So that's fun. Um, I also stock them in Dotty About Flare as well. I want to use some of these amazing coloured enamel dots. But we're just going to go through each embellishment pack which I have now opened. And we're going to add a few more bits because more is more is more is more. Very, very much so. I really wanted to get one of these in here. There we go. Another one somewhere around here. I wonder if this would just slip there. And then my title, I was thinking Best Life, the Bramble Fox Perspective. And I was thinking of just putting it there. If you've noticed, which you probably have, these photos are at a slight wonk, which we do like around here, a bit of wonk. So I'm thinking my title will go there. I was hoping to get this token in. These are all Bramble Fox. But I don't think we'll get that in all of October, which is fine. Love that there. I want to try and get another leafy bit. Just because, it, as you can only see a tiny, 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 tiny bit of that. But I like the little sneak of it. These are awesome. And I love that they are stickers. Then the clear stickers, as you can see, I've used five, one, two, three, four, five of them, which is great because I always struggle with clear stickers. And I did wonder whether we could get a couple of the phrases in. So we've got Hello October. We have got um, let's put hoodie weather because we are wearing hoodies. Let's check that's roughly straight. Yeah. So I'm glad that I have used at least some of those clear stickers. I have also I've not used any of the tag die cuts. No. Nope. But I have used a lot of the florals, as you can see there's not many left there. And I've used some from here as well. 
puffy stickers. I do love a puffy. Um, I don't think. I'm going to add another one there because why not? <clears throat> I just love this collection so much. I really, really do. I want to just play with it all day. Then we've got chipboard phrases and tabs. What have we got here? I'm going to put a little arrow. And I'm actually going to put it just about here, I think. And it's actually straight against the paper, which pronounces the wonk a little bit more, which I quite like. So grateful for our life together with this room and our changing seasons. I quite like that. And it brings in a bit more of the lovely brown. I don't use brown all that much. Excuse my head for a minute if you can see it. Okay, so I've added that there. Do, do, do. I'm going to add this little circle leaf there. And then there's a little sort of banner flag. It says Simple Delights. So this is myself, Mick, and Tom. Those of you that have watched my videos and followed me along you will know who they are we just basically went for a walk at a local park on a cold autumn's day last year so i've not got many if any uh, photos from autumn this year yet i believe are all from last year that's okay because I have got loads of fall collections because I love the colours. And I don't think I've ever scrapped autumn much at all, if at all. I'm just going to bring the layout closer to me for a moment, so excuse me whilst I just get the title on. So we have got the best life title. Hopefully it is... It's as straight as it's going to get around here. And I think I will put a wood button there. Put a little heart just about there. Now, I did want to use some of these chipboard titles because I love them so much. But I don't think. We're going to get them on. However, I have just had a very good thought. I think I need something up here. So, I'm going to put that. Then I am going to put one of these stickers. Just about there. Which is off the chipboard stickers. And then... I am going to put this title piece on top of that chipboard. I'm going to move it down a bit so that we can see it. And I'm going to have those up there as well. Just to bring some of this teal up there. So I love that. Probably didn't need it. Probably makes it a bit busy. Probably makes it a bit more original. That is me, that is what I like. So that is what I do. Now, what else? If anything else. I love these mixed media stickers. I usually find them hard to use. So I want to make a real effort to get them used. But on this occasion, I don't think we need them. These are lovely. I want to make something with 
this. So we get just the one sheet. But the packaging is great because you can use that for backing. It's like little polka dots. This is a little Autumn Memories sticker that I'm going to layer onto that floral. <clears throat> That's probably it. And I'm not going to use those. Okay, so let's add in a few enamel dots. I want to add in some here and I think I'll do my usual three ideally not by throwing them across the page although that'd be kind of fun just throw them and see where they land <laughs> then I'm gonna pop some here but I'm not going to put a third because I've already got that leaf circle. And I think we'll have three down here. Which is a sort of triangle. Well, no, it is actually a triangle. An unintentional triangle. I don't know what it is. I just love the look of three together. And as you all know, I'm not that big into the rule of three and that. But yeah. There it is then, that is my scrap lift of the awesome Rebecca Moore, who we are cel celebrating today for her 1,500 subscriber hop. I'm sure it's 1,500. Congratulations to Rebecca, please do hop on along and watch Rebecca's video and everybody else's video playing along. There are so many people getting involved and they are all super duper awesome. I would also say check out Rebecca's YouTube, Instagram and everywhere. You'll find her in most places because she is in super demand at the minute because she's so awesome. So thanks for letting me join in with your little hop Rebecca, happy birthday for today and thank you for letting me scrap lift your awesome layout. I will see you all again back here for another video very soon, bye for now.